Good morning, polar bears. How's it going, y'all? It's a Friday. It's January 15th, 2021. I hope you're having a great week. Uh, I just, you know, I know some people are saying, hey, happy Friday. Some might say, happy Friday. Yay. Uh, yeah, it doesn't work for me. Maybe it works for Miss Janice, but it doesn't work for me. Um, let's see. This is another edition of Engineering Design, and we're going to go ahead and get started. To kick us off, just like last week, we're going to jump into a spot the difference. So our new image here, let me see. There you go. Find the seven differences between the two pictures. And this time, I'm not giving any hints. You may already spot some. Here, go ahead and pause your video right now and answer on your Google form. Okay, I'm hoping you found all of them. Remember, there's a total of seven in there. You gotta find each and every one of those. So just type it out on your Google form. If you see maybe there's some ears, and be, be specific with this. If it's the bunny, say, hey, the bunny's ears is different, are different, or whatever it might be. Be very specific with those seven differences. Okay, all right, I'm gonna have to, oh, okay, I'm gonna minimize that, there you go. So for, this is for next week, Friday, January 22nd. Believe it or not, that's my birthday. Oh, exciting. So you will need one roll of foil paper. And honestly, y'all, I just want you to find a regular roll. We don't need those rolls where they're super big. They have all this ton of foil paper. We don't need that. All we need is a basic Reynolds wrap that, let's say about 75 square feet. So just your regular old, um, foil paper. You don't need uh, the extra supersized one. So for on-campus students, make sure to bring it to school, please. And, and no sharing. So you will have to use and have your own foil paper. Distance learning, make sure to have it ready at home. And again, we are going to be using it next week. You'll learn a little bit more later on today on how we're going to be using it. So again, you're you're probably thinking like, Mr. B, what the heck is up with this foil paper? Well, we are starting our first challenge of the year. Whoops, jumped the, the gun a little bit. So we are gonna build a foil paper tower. Our prompt, our challenge is, what is the tallest freestanding tower you can build with only one box of tin foil of our foil paper in 10 minutes? So we're gonna go through a couple things here. Tallest. Right, you want to build the tallest, the the highest, the um, I don't know, the one that can reach the ceiling. You want to build a tower that's the tallest, right? You don't want to build the smallest, the shortest. No, we want it to get as highest as we can. So I think that's pretty self-explanatory. May have overdone it. Next word you got to notice is freestanding, and what that means is that you don't help it. This tower does not need your help or does not need any anybody's or anything's help. It's gonna stand on its own. It is free and it can stand on its own. So no cheating, no glue, no don't hold it. If it tips over and falls down, well, your tower did not stand. And again, it happens, it's happened before. Uh, here's some examples. Notice how, yes, they're putting it all together. These students are putting it together. And once we would measure it, they wouldn't be holding it. Same thing here. Here's an example of some older um, women that are also doing a tinfoil tower. And lastly here, here's your last example. So again, those are some examples. We're not building it this week though. The last thing here is in 10 minutes, we are gonna have a time constraint. That means you won't have all day. You got it. We're going to set a timer and you will only have 10 minutes to build this. So I think that one's also straightforward. All right. So let's, let's start building and let's go ahead and do it. Yeah. You feel the vibes. Look, that's your new TikTok dance. Yeah. I feel it. Hey, solo, 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 solo. No. Okay. Actually not quite. We're not starting this week. We're using what we call, well, actually we'll jump into that later, but we don't want to end up here. And it happens every challenge. 
where you regret everything. You regret what you built, right? You just jumped into it, you started building, and then you realize it's much harder than you think. You might do that in other parts of your, uh, your life where you don't even think about it. You're like, oh yeah, I got this. I can do this real quick. And then you find yourself in trouble. So we are gonna be using the engineering design process. What we're focusing on today is, well, first off, we're starting with the ask step. And if you need to zoom in, you can see there, it says, what's the problem and define constraints. So what is the problem? What's the challenge that we're doing? And define the constraints. Those are, what are, what are the rules for the challenge? So again, what is the tallest freestanding tower? You can build with only one box of tinfoil in 10 minutes. So again, we're asking, what is the problem? What's our ultimate challenge? What are the rules of this challenge? What can I do? What can't I do? And y'all, we need to stick to these rules. And what are the materials? What is it that I need in order to accomplish this challenge, in order to do this challenge? So that's in our section. You can go ahead and pause the video now, answer, go down to the next question, answer these three questions um, in your Google form. Go ahead and pause me now. Okay, next up is our imagine step. This is where you brainstorm. And for those of you that don't know where brainstorm is, is you come up with all these ideas. You just start naming ideas. Hey, we could do this with our temple. We could do this and that and that. And you're just throwing out ideas, no matter how crazy they are. Finally, in the brain, in the imagine step, we finally choose one. You feel like, hey, this one seems like it's gonna work. Once you've chosen that idea, you start planning it out. You draw it out. I know, like I said, this is not art, but we still are gonna be drawing a bit. So how that's gonna um, affect us today is. You're gonna brainstorm in your Google form. You're gonna list all these crazy ideas. Maybe you can, I don't know, you can use these the tinfoil in all these crazy ways. Then you're gonna choose one of your ideas and you're gonna draw it out. It's gonna look, okay, I just put a picture of a cat here because I thought it was cute. But this is gonna look like your tower. You're gonna to plan out, well, how is my tinfoil gonna look on the bottom of the tower, on the top of the tower, throughout the tower. Once you're done with this, then on campus scholars, turn in this paper. You're gonna need a sheet of paper. It could be lined paper, it can be white paper. It doesn't matter y'all. And you are gonna draw this out and turn this into your advisory teachers. Please make sure your first name and your last name is on it. And you know what, go ahead and put your advisory teacher's name on there as well, please. That's gonna help me out. And for distance learning scholars, you're gonna send me a photo using a phone of your drawing to my email. Just like we did for last, for forensic science, you're gonna be taking a photo of your drawing and send it to me. I'm gonna make a video on how to do that. That way you have an idea. Uh, that way in case you're lost, you can follow the video. And here's an example. It's super simple, y'all. This is for another challenge. Notice how, hey, they used a straw in this challenge and they label it as a straw. They use a napkin roll, and guess what? They labeled it as a napkin roll. So again, this is an art. I'm not expecting you to make a Picasso drawing. I just need to be able to understand it. That's the most important part. So make sure you throw in some labels like this, make sure I can kind of tell, hey, this is how it's gonna stand and try to make it as tall as possible. Next week, we'll find out and we'll use our uh, drawings to the test, put them to the test, and we'll see Hey, maybe uh, maybe there's a chance this might not work exactly the way it, it was planned out to be. But we'll do that next week. Um, let me know if you need anything, y'all. You can email me. And have a great weekend. Enjoy your day. I'll see you later. Peace.